What's going on, everybody? So, today, or well, I guess yesterday or whatever, received a phone call there. A guy uh, threw me a couple codes for his vehicle. And, uh, anyways, uh, it's coming up like a, a vacuum leak or something like that. So, I needed a test scope. So, I was, I've been looking around for a uh, stethoscope. Sorry, stethoscope. Yes, stethoscope. So, anyways. Been looking around for one of them for a while, and the ones that, like, I already have one, but I wanted another. So, uh, long story short, been looking around for a stethoscope, and I couldn't find the style that I needed. Now, when I say the style needed, I'm looking for one so I can choose, like, listen for vacuum leaks, one for exhaust leaks, and also one for bearing noises. So three things in particular out of one stethoscope. Now I'm going to get showing you here what this stethoscope is like. Okay, so we got the Lyles uh, part number 52500. We got the Mechanics Stethoscope. Now I was looking around at a couple different brands and there were some things that I didn't like about them. One, I couldn't listen for air leaks. I could only listen for, say, like bearing noises or vibration noises. So we'll get this opened up and we're going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, got a nice little stem here for vibration noises. Decent length. Okay, put the package off to the side. Get everything taken apart here. Okay, so we got our ears, and you got two holes. Now, on our pipe, you see here, we got a pipe and another pipe attached to it, which makes it single. So, when everything's all together, we'll go and put this on here. Hold on a second. They just slide up and on there. Then this one here slides on to here. So it slides on. You can also slide it back off if you really want. Okay. So this here will spin apart. And there's a little diaphragm there. So this rod spins into this. See that diaphragm comes out? You can make it so it's a bit tighter. So there. And that goes on like that. This here slides through. And it goes and it spins together. Okay. So, what my problem that I was running into is that all the other stethoscopes that I was looking... Stethoscopes that I was looking at... It had two pipes. That come down, they kind of joined together, but there were still two pipes. There was two pipes all the way to this, and then there was two hookups, okay? Then it turned into one channel. The telescope stayed together like this, had a stem about half the length, but you couldn't take this apart. And to go and pull the hose off each time, you had to pull two hoses off, and it was they were quite stiff. It's not, not as malleable as... Uh, this one is. The other one there, it seemed like cheap plastic, cheap rubber, or whatever, cheap hose. So I wasn't overly impressed with it. So, long story short, you can actually take this off, have that in your ears, and you can listen to either a vacuum leak. So you're following a pipe and you're listening for a little a sucking noise or a blowing noise. So you're following, say, like this is your pipe. You can, you can follow the pipe. And then kind of go back and forth and be like, oh, there it is. There's a crack right here. I'm hearing the noise significantly there. And then as you move away from it, okay, no longer hear it. Come back to it, hear it, move away from it. So you can pinpoint where it is. <clears throat> then, or say you're on a, an exhaust system or something like that, and there's a gasket that's making noise when you put it in reverse or forward, but you have no one to get in the vehicle for you. To put it in the reverse, hold the, your, their foot on the brake, 
or put it in drive and hold the foot on the brake to get the vehicle to make that exhaust noise, you can take this off, you can take a piece of brake line, put it in the end, put a little curve on it or whatever you want, so you still get the air coming through, still get the air coming through that brake line and into here, and you can still hear it. Or if uh, if it's not as far away, you can kind of reach up into place, listen to where you have to listen for the exhaust noise of it blowing out, and be like, "Yeah, it's this gasket, or the flange is broken, or whatever." I mean, sometimes it's not as visible to see the flange. Sometimes it's hidden in behind a shield or something like that, and you're trying to find this noise. And you got to stick it in behind a shield and kind of look around blindfolded in the dark, not knowing what you're listening to. And then, okay, yeah, that's where it is. Uh, we'll just verify that there's a crack in the manifold or whatever. You know exactly where the sound is coming from. Then you can also just go and hook this back up and say this is a bearing. And you have a solid surface you can go and place this here on. So you got this in your ear, put that on the engine block or wherever, and you can go and listen to which bearing is bad. You can kind of move, okay, well, I'm here, I don't, I don't hear anything, kind of sounds just like a regular bearing. Move over here and it's like, <laughs> making a bunch of crazy noise. Okay, and then you kind of move around to whatever, all the other ones, and you come back to this one and be like, yep, yeah, that's my loudest one, that's the one I need to change. So this is why I was looking for the Lyles Tethoscope. And that's, and I really like this because it goes, it's like a single pipe system, easy to use. The other ones that I was seeing was a double pipe system. Two pipes came off, it was two pipes all the way down and into this housing. This housing wasn't separable, so you couldn't just kind of take this off and listen for noise. Also, you can unscrew this, take that apart, and this creates like a little cone, so you can still kind of hear where the noise is coming from, because it's hollow. There's a hole there. Straight through design. So, it turned out great. I found this. Uh, where I bought it from was a bit expensive, but... It's the only guys that had them at the time, so I was like, well, whatever, beggars can't be choosers, and I'm not running everywhere. So, ended up buying it. It was about 25 bucks. Normally, you can find them around 10 or so. I didn't check online or anything like that. I just wanted something local. I didn't feel like ordering anything. I just picked it up local. Cool, so that's the Lyles uh, Mechanic Stethoscope. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, tutorial video of the Lyles Tethoscope and uh, hopefully it helps you out and uh, gets, helps you get your job done. But this is the Stethoscope I would recommend is the Lyles. Running anywhere from 10 to 25 bucks roughly. And uh, yeah, I got one already. Absolutely love it. Gets me out of a lot of pinches and helps, helps out a lot. Uh, it's a go-to tool on a daily basis and works great. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe, hit that like button if you like this video, and we'll see you guys all next time.